seems. And indeed, Montpat. I'm not feeling. Well, he can certainly handle the pressure. 52. There was no sign of any nerves whatsoever as he was closing in on, on the biggest win of his life against Taylor on opening night here in Dublin. Well, the, the, the leg that he, he really wanted to win, the last one, produced two 180s. And if you recall, he singled a 14 and then got one of the hardest doubles on the board, double seven, without any problem at all. No sign of any pressure there. 140. Lovely darts from John Pass. Yes. That really was a great dart. There wasn't a lot of room in the treble 20. Class act, of course, the Canadian. Great dart from John Park. 100. It's a bit awkward, mate. He's forced to come down then because of the angle of the dart above the treble 20. But he, he can almost guarantee he'll pick one of those trebles out. Does so with the treble 18 and has a lead of 96. And that's something that Gray can make inroads into, especially with another one of those. Well, one of the best of the business, John Pass. Incredible to think that he travels something like 180,000 miles a year to play his chosen sport. He said to me once, uh, Stuart, um, that travelling by plane across the Atlantic to and from Toronto to wherever in the UK he goes um, is rather like travelling by road in this country, say, from London to Newcastle or to Manchester or certainly to Glasgow and uh, in, in the UK that is I'm saying this country we're forgetting where I am but uh, that's it that's what he equates it to Adrian Gray here Adrian requires to go two one up after losing the opening leg That's a lovely dart. Double six then for the young lad from Sussex. Could be cruel, could be kind. It was kind. Gray now throwing for the first set against the two times former world champion. Well, I've got to say, he looks very, very settled. You rarely see John Park rattle, that's for certain. And I doubt whether you will in this match, whatever the circumstances. More likely, one feels, is that Gray could be unsettled. It's a big, big experience. Quarter-finals night, big night in any sport, and in darts, probably the best value you get because you're going to be guaranteed eight really good players on the stage, four cracking games, and uh, the crowd are here. Look at them in their numbers to witness this great night here in Dublin. And Adrian Gray holding himself very well at the moment together. Well, we'll be seeing Gray at the World Championship. The Ali Pali, 17th of December, it starts. Every dart live on Sky Sports. Well, she's happy. I think she looks quite miserable myself, <laughs> if you see what I mean. I think she's just pensive, isn't she? And perhaps One apprehensive as well. But no doubt happy inside. Yeah, good last start from uh, the Canadian. Not quite at the races yet, is he? He was terrific against Wayne Marvel. I think that uh, John Park would be was suited to uh, Marvel. The pace of the game was different, and the pace of this game is rather different because Gray does tend to be a little more deliberate. It takes a little longer than Marvel and a few others, say Ronnie Baxter, to release the darts. And I'm not saying that's affecting John Park. Uh, to any great extent, but I think I, I would prefer a, a, a livelier pace, I'm sure. Well, another good dart here. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You can see the reaction from the young man, double 16. 
for the set after being a leg down. Yeah, and remember when he played Taylor, he was two legs down in the opening set and managed to win it. And then the next, here, as you say, a leg down, the first leg. And there you have it, clean as a whistle. And Adrian Gray takes the first set in this game. He's got it off pass. Certainly bursting forth there during that particular break. They've come to enjoy themselves. And so far, they're enjoying a very fine performance from this young man who just checked out on that just before we went to the break this is honestly not a replay it's the restart and uh, very impressive indeed a restart from adrian gray part's got to do that got to go with him don't want to go two sets down 112. yeah john Parr has to really pick up the pace sorts in that in that first set and he knows that 121 he used to produce the, uh, the darts he had against Mardle Del Boy and Rodney in the City West I wondered who's uh, relied Robin that was in the car park Stuart <laughs> you know that yellow one That's a great last dart there from the Canadian Really impressed, though, more than anything this week, with Avery Gray's temperament. Yes, um, I just have the feeling, Stuart, that uh, he, if he wins this and goes into the semis and then wins and goes into the final, it'd be just the same. I, I, I do feel that he... Oh, oh there's John Park putting in his second 180 of the night. His last one was in a losing leg. Um, Adrian Gray covering the treble 20 there with the dart making life but he did oh he didn't he's two in he wants the ball this could be a winning leg sensationally oh well what a great effort even more conspire we've seen her teeth at last well, john park wasn't smiling when those first two darts went in he's got one dart at double 16 has to take this out just isn't happening for John Part. But Adrian Gray here has earned the right. Dead right, he's earned the right. And that's right in. Oh, 